I gotta hurry up here. I got bugs hit me in the face because of my headband light. I have to film with my phone. I forgot my Sony Action Cam. But we're gonna take this 12 inch telescope aperture and we're gonna try to get some shots. What are you doing on there? Get away. Some shots of Mars, the constellation of Pleiades, and I'm hoping the Orion, the constellation of Orion's coming up soon. And I'm hoping to get some shots of the horse said nebula. And I don't mean pictures, we're talking live view, and I'll be using my Sony A7S. Uh, two power Barlow, we'll see, maybe a nine millimeter. Let's uh, get this camera turned on. I'll point it out to you. And got some clouds coming in, so I don't know, we'll see. Well, right there is Mars, and we're gonna get hooked up, see that. As you can see, all the clouds coming. I can't even hurt, there's a Pleiades right there. And what you're looking at right there is the group of Pleiades, the constellation. I have a funny feeling, if the clouds are like this, it isn't gonna be terrible, but I can't see Orion. I can't see Orion coming up yet. So at least we can try to do is get some good shots of Mars. Okay, I got the 9mm and a 2 power Barlow in. I'm going to try to zoom in here digitally if I can keep this thing straight. But this is Mars. I got the ISO turned way down too. So I'm going to have to reposition it. That thing's flying. Probably turn the ISO up. I can't tell. Pretty sure it's focused good. Looks like I'm only Mars is only about half lit from there. I'm not going to know anything till I get on the computer, but I'll share it with you. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn my ISO up. I don't know if that'll help. But that is Mars. ISO of 400. Like I said, I got my 9mm and the 2 power Barlow in. A lot of moisture in there. We're 90% moisture out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see the atmosphere on there. Um, hold on. But there we are. Hopefully that's a better shot. 1 25th second shutter speed. Pretty decent. Looks like you can barely see the polar ice cap on it. Which is pretty neat. It's nice. I'm going to move over to Ryan before the sun comes up. But that is Mars. Okay, right here is live view of the Orion Nebula, the Horset Nebula, and I am running prime. I don't think I'd want to go in, put a, I could put a 25 millimeter in, possibly get a little closer. Uh, the sun is coming up, I'd have to see if I got a 25 millimeter. That's pretty awesome in itself. I could try to take a picture. We'll do that. I'm at 1.6 shutter speed at 80,000 ISO. I could play with my settings a little bit here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go to 1 15th second shutter speed. 160,000 ISO. And... I'm in clear mode at 160,000 ISO. Try to zoom in a little and see. I think uh, putting a 25 millimeter in would possibly help. Okay, there it is with a 25 millimeter eyepiece in. Uh, Got to turn the ISO way up. So we're at 320,000. I'll try to turn it down. That's pretty good. That's live view with the 12-inch telescope. 
Rupert Orion Nebula. Yeah, I got the two power Barlow in. It's as good as you're going to get with that. We got to go back to Prime. I think Prime's the way to go. Here's live view at 256,000 in black and white, one fifth shutter speed. Let's go back to Prime before the sun comes up. That's about as good as you're going to get, but that's pretty neat. That there is the Orion Nebula, uh, 102,000 ISO with my Sony through this 12 inch telescope. I hate to turn the ISO up anymore, but that's, to me, that's pretty impressive. We got a lot of clouds and fog coming in too, so it's just perfect timing. Uh, the sky is very foggy, so I can guarantee you I'm looking through fog with this. And moisture is just incredible tonight, so someday I'll get a better view of it. Right here is the Pleiades, that constellation. A bunch of new stars being formed. Pretty impressive when you're looking through a scope. I could turn my ISO up more and my shutter speed down a little. I'm at 102,000 ISO. 204,000. That's one eighth second shutter speed. Amazing amount of stars. And I'm running prime, of course. I'm going to shoot back over to uh, the Orion, or down to it. Here we're at live view at 80,000 ISO. Uh, with crop mode on. That's pretty neat. I'm in deep mode. It's amazing what this telescope picks up, a 12-inch Dipsonian. That's pretty cool. That is a nebula there. The Orion Nebula. Not sure what else I could look at right now. Okay, right here I found the Andromeda Galaxy. That is the farthest object that the unaided eye can see. And it's far away. And I'm in live view. What I want to do is get a couple pictures of it. Keep in mind, this isn't a go-to scope or anything. Uh, no controls on it whatsoever. It's all hand operated, so I got to do a real fast shutter speed. Let's try it out. Right here is the four moons of Jupiter. The fourth one will be coming up. We're going to go into crop mode. There's what a 9mm eyepiece and a 2 power Barlow. Alright. A lot of moisture in the air. Okay, it's starting to get light out. So if that is, uh, I might just throw all these groups of little videos together and post it. Uh, I might add to it, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, it's a little bit too light out, it's starting to wash everything out, so there you are. So we've got Mars, Andromeda, and Orion Nebula.